Now it was his job to back up Phantom, one of his teammates, while she delivered the virus to the scientist. Speaking of the heroine, the woman with silvery hair and a ghost-like complexion approached him through the woods. She gave him a terse but polite nod. Good to see you, Chill. You too, Phantom, though I'll be happier when this is all over with. I'm sure you'll feel safer once the virus is destroyed. Are you sure you can trust this scientist of yours? I'm sure. The champion wouldn't have sent us to him if he didn't believe he could be trusted. Beside him, he thought he heard a chuckle. He looked over at Phantom in surprise, but her face showed no signs of laughter. A hot sensation collided with Chill's back. It spread through his veins and his skin prickled in pain. He groaned and received a fist to the gut. He fell backwards, his skin still tingling in pain. A flash of white light filled his eyes and another pulse of heat impacted him. He tried to control the twitching from the second impact and directed a wall of ice at his attackers. Phantom's face bent over him, melting into a tan skin tone, her hair darkening to a jet black. She reached into his suit and retrieved the vial. Trust is for the naive. 